Hi, Tom here. So based on previous videos, I've had some questions and comments about how I'm getting data from my Wusterbosch boiler behind me here on the wall into Home Assistant. So in this video, I just wanted to introduce the EMS ESP gateway and just talk a little bit about how I've set it up, how it works and what information it feeds into Home Assistant. Now the EMS ESP project is an open source one. Uh, all the code is up on GitHub and you can download and set it up yourself uh, but it requires some custom electronics to be created in order to interface with the boilers digital EMS port. Rather than going through all that pain yourself, unless of course you're interested, uh, you can like me buy a ready-made version. Um, so I bought this from a company called BBQ Keys, uh, they're based in the Netherlands and they offer um, a couple of different models of this EMS gateway. Some have Ethernet connections and various bits and bobs. Uh, but you can basically buy it ready-made, as I've done. It was about 100 euro, I think, at the time when I picked it up. Uh, and this is designed to be connected directly into your boiler. You just need a two-wire connection, which I'll show you in a second. And then you connect it to your Wi-Fi and you connect it to Home Assistant via MQTT. Once it's publishing via MQTT, it registers itself in Home Assistant automatically, so you don't really need to do anything beyond that, and all the information from the boiler that it detects appear as entities in Home Assistant. So I'm just going to kind of quickly show you how this is connected in. Um, and then we'll jump over to Home Assistant and I can show you what sort of information you get from the unit. Alright, so here's the boiler all open and this is the actual gateway here. So it's got a 5 volt power supply, so that just runs off to a 3 pin plug. And then the two cables that come out of the bottom, I've put them in this flexible conduit just to keep them safe. But they run up and in through the top here and they just run into this orange connector which is the EMS bus connector on the boiler. That's it, it's as simple as. There's no polarity or anything on the cables. Um, it sort of figures that out itself. Uh, just at this point when I've got this open I just want to point out the little 10k resistor that I've put in. So that, that's the little hack. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description. That's the little hack to enable priority domestic hot water mode on the boiler without having the internal diverter valve. But I digress. So th that's how it's connected up. And um, we'll jump into Home Assistant now and I'll show you what sort of data this little box sends to Home Assistant. All right, so here we are at the EMS ESP Gateway webpage, which I've accessed just using the IP address of the unit. So. I log in using my credentials and on the dashboard you can see it's picked up my Green Star 8000 boiler. So I'll dig into that now. Uh, once I open that, this will give you an idea of all the data that's available. So it can show if the heating is active, what the selected flow temperature is, the current flow temperature, modulation speed of the pump, pressure of the gas system, pressure, how much current is going into the flame, how much the pump is on, fans are on, if the ignition is running. You can also then see, you can specify the heating temperature. So mine's currently set to 45. It gives you the minimum period the burner will run from. There's minimum power, maximum power, hysteresis. So there's, there's quite a few uh, bits of information here, how long it's been running for error codes. And then it also gives you access to anything to do with the hot water. So if you've got priority domestic hot water, you can control the temperatures, uh, you know, selected temperatures, burner temperatures, anything you want in there. Uh, what's of note is that some of these values, you can see there's a little pencil beside them. So some of these you're actually able to edit. So for example, here I've got a minimum power set to 14 and I've set the maximum power to 50. So I've essentially range rated my boiler. Uh, and I did that using this interface. Uh, you can also select and edit a lot of these down here in terms of pump modulations and stuff. 
I'll be honest, I haven't touched most of this. Uh, the only values have really changed were the heating temperature, uh, which I have automated so that can be adjusted up and down. It's kind of a pseudo uh, sort of weather compensation. And then, as I said, I range rate the boiler. Uh, if I jump over to the menu here, you can see how it's connected. It just gives you some status information, IP addresses. Uh, you can see which access point you're connected to. You can have a, a, I think this is a network time. You can switch that on so it'll pull the time from the system, from the network. You can also then configure MQTT so it'll give you some status information. And what's key in here is there's an MQTT discovery. So once you've configured your broker, you set up the IP address and everything, you can then basically enable home assistant discovery uh, it also supports the is that domestics not sure i've never used that one i think that's another smart home system but this is what i've set up so once you've configured it for home assistant um it'll basically publish and we'll find all this information um mm. briefly then you can sort of manage the firmware as well so you can update that automatically i recently upgraded it to the latest version uh, and then you also have a status panel on the dashboard. And this will give you an idea of how stable the MQTT, the API, and the EMS protocol integration is. So since I've done mine, uh, we've had over a million successful calls in terms of reads. It's 178,000 successful writes or reads from that as well. Um, so it's really, really stable, uh, as you can see. Uh, if we quickly jump into Home Assistant, we just jump down to Integrations, uh, and we look for, I think it's under MQTT, we'll see the two, device, two devices appear. So we've got the ESP itself, and then we've got the ESP, EMS ESP boiler, uh, which is the actual boiler, and then as you can tell, as you can see here, you've got access to all of that information again, um, access to all the sensors and everything written out. So for me, mainly, um, I just use this one. I've got the boiler flow temperature, and then I use this current power. So this tells me uh, what the boiler is currently doing, how much power um, it's currently producing, and then I can look at the the temperature or the flow temperature and kind of get an idea of what's in that. That's it for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe. If you have any questions or uh, you would like to know a bit more, please drop me a question in the comments. And that's it. I'm Tom, and thanks for watching.